What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have Rune Almkis, who has marched east to intercept this Spanish force that was attempting to cross the river towards Barcelona. As you can see, we have a significantly stronger force than they have, and we also outnumber them by a considerable margin. So we are going to take the battle to them. And they have a significant number of troops, but I think they're all going to get cut down to piece, in, cut down uh, to bits by our artillery fire. Let's take them out. And because these battles take so long, uh, <laughs> rather than waiting for them to come to me, I'm going to come to them. Actually, it's a, <laughs> it's a regular battle anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the train looks quite flat, though. Hmm. Curious. Okay, so this is the ground we've got to play with, so let's try and... Hmm. Very flat. Maybe try and put my 12s off to one side. Delta, militia, Delta, U, U, U. Up front, go wider on the right, because I've got my guns deployed offset. I'm going to move my line up, because right now I'm quite far back. Yeah. There we go. So, let's go ahead and... There we go. And then, you guys there. I guess I might just deploy extended on the right. And rely on more cavalry on the left with, with where my guns are. My sixes follow the line, same with the howitzers. General up front. Terrain has an effect on a Quiet you. Cavalry charge off the bat. A couple of cavalry charges off the bat. Hmm. Oh well. Nothing major to worry about. The cavalry on the left that's trying to charge me is going to get held up by the fact that they are behind an infantry block. Actually, maybe I'll make my 12s focus on the infantry block. Barrage. Keep opening up. Fire again. Very, very iffy performance there. Have I got my... I'm wondering, I've got my headset on back to front. Oh well, either way. <laughs> so pull the cavalry back, drop you guys into square. You know, run my cavalry away to try to draw them into the square. Then I'll let my cavalry fight them. There we go, we've seen off one Spanish cavalry troop. So Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. Let's bring you guys ahead of the mine. Bring you guys around the mine. bring my howitzers not up near the mine but there's the grenadiers they won't go down quite so easy yeah I have my headset on back to front I can hear all my cavalry stuff sir sir our general is under attack okay let's pull my cavalry back 
square formation from this Finska unit will still be enough because it will catch the edge of the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons and draw them into combat. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, they did actually drive on. Good for them. But we've repelled them nonetheless. Bring our cavalry back. I doubt they're in canister range. Nope. Get you chaps out of out of square and back into the line. Unlimber the howitzers. There you go. Now you're in canister range. Too bad we can't uh, barrage you. But it's quite difficult to charge a gun team. Especially when they're flanked by two units of cavalry. Okay, bring my dragoons in. So I have to commit my heavy cavalry to take out the 7th light horse. Let's use my dragoons to hit. 21st Regiment, switch you guys to round shot and against the Regimento de Reina to the rear. 21st have been routed. Pull the cavalry back. And the bayonet charge in the centre, which I did not notice. Let's push my general up rapidly. Get him to his horn to make everyone feel better. My militia continue the attack on towards Infantry de Reina. My cavalry charge to the rear of the general's into charge of the rear of the Grenadiers. Emen take out the 20th Regiment to foot. There we go. Emen. Our men are running, sir. Form line. What remains of you, form line? Ooh, the foot guards. Ooh, dear. Foot guards. Canister shot. Barrage. There we go, they're coming in so we can bring my heavy cavalry to trot back towards the foot guards. So you men push up to the foot to push up around the rear. I mean those grenadiers probably aren't coming back anymore now. So now let's commit my cavalry against the guards. Let's hope we can get there in time. I will let these guys continue to fire until the last minute. Oh. <laughs> Did some work against my own cavalry there. Get my cavalry out of the way because I don't think they're going to. I can halt. Oh, there we go. I was looking for the halt order. I missed forming square with these pikes, but I can just run my. Uh, run my. Run my militia. Not my pikes. I need to call them pikes because I get militia form a. Oh, these are my lifeguards. Oh, these are militia because they don't form a square, they form a, a block formation, if you like. Bring my cavalry back. You guys engage the 26th. You guys advance up into the enemy. My generals a stalwart vision. So I've got Mullins, Militia Provincial, and the Fifth Foot Guards. There we go, now the ninth have pivoted. Hey, that's not a scene in Dance with Wolves, except he got shot instead of. <laughs> oh, that's my guy. Ah. General's in a reasonable spot. OK, 
Okay, so you guys form up. And then you two guys do like this. Put the Ega push back. They do like, they do really want to go for my artillery, so I might just limber these guys up, to be honest, and make them fall back towards the centre. Aha, you guys can advance onto this, onto the left flank. Go on, heavy cavalry, take out the 21st regiment. My lights have taken out the 3rd Grenadiers. What about the 2nd Grenadiers? This is why I say cavalry is the best. One square. Put Jaeger get into that square. My light cavalry get over here. General Staff is charging. Yeah. Okay, everyone, everyone just goes get back. <laughs> Nice of you to take out their general. But overall, the enemy line is faltering, so continue the advance up into the enemy's face. The men of fatigue are a must rest a while. I'm sure they are, but they must continue the fight. and go attack the 2nd Regiment. This Dragoon Regiment just gained another level of experience, experience level 7. Their morale is stupendous. Better than my general. It shows they're, they're wavering. So make them walk after the enemy. Slowly gain back some precious stamina. Keep my Felt Jaeger like this. There we go, General Staff's coming back. Let's run my Light Cavalry, because your job is to go after the General's Bodyguard. Engaging at range. There we go. So you're in your you're a Spaniard in this square formation, surrounding the, the guns. And you go, don't worry, there's our general. Gonna engage by my felt Jaeger. I mean I'm happy to let them charge if they want to charge me. The light horse are coming in. In come the light horse. And there goes the enemy general. It's just down to their gunners, which appear to not want to fight. But when these guys, as you, that's not a bad outcome, or too bad of an outcome, because as the as the uh, guns refuse to rout, oh, they've routed now. But as they did previously refuse to rout, it meant that my men were killing their infantry much more efficiently because they were routing. But let's call that that, because that's quite a uh, significant defeat for the Spanish. And as we contain, we still can, we can replenish from on the southern bank. Mr. Backstrom, let's get you guys to push up to the edge of your territory because Pamplona does not freak out. We need to start squeezing Madrid, really. We want, it probably means you want two armies to advance forward. You want to knock out this force and then try and control this pass and then move up to control this crossing here between the hills and the river and then this gap between these two rivers and then that army can push on to Madrid. Noise problems. Okay. You are replenishing, ready for your advance down to Corsica. You are replenishing after taking the city. So Habel of Bengston in Switzerland is still needed. Minus three. And that's even before we've got rid of the issues with uh, 
issues with uh, ex uh, not not exempting them from tax any longer. Schleswig, you can be built up into a. Okay, let's actually maybe go for supply depot because you might start to see more wars in this region. So let's march. You're going down to Hanover. Let's get back up to our army up here. Four more units in two turns. You will be a full have a full complement of troops. And then you can be sent to the front. You're recruiting away. You're waiting for more troops to be recruited over here in Finland. Can't even recruit in Norway. Um, okay. Yeah, nothing I can do really. Okay, let's hit end turn. Still keeping an eye on Venice. Ideally, I would hope to time it. Because it looks like Austria is pushing down. Oh, don't get there, don't get there. Okay, phew. <laughs> so my hope would be now to attack Venice and call in the Austrians as a allied force. That would be pretty cool, I think. The Prussians are on the move. The Russians are also looks like they're going for Venice. They're going to make sense because they don't have any other enemies to fight. Reino de España. Okay, they've fallen back, which is great. So we've got, ooh, we might have an army ahead of us. Okay, this is definitely happening because we can fight with a full Austrian army as our as our ally. You're in good shape, so you're going to advance up to the pass. You're going to push up to the boundary until you're fully replenished. Take a couple of turns. To be honest, you might just push up towards Madrid. If you get hit or damaged, you can push back to Barcelona or Catalonia and replenish while the rune pushes up. I really think we might have uh, some... Uh, an ambush set up here somewhere, so I could send some cavalry forward. But the thing that will be fun to do, I mean, Anders Skaldebrand, you're, they're pretty replenished except for this unit of Indelta. They're pretty depleted, so let's actually get my militia, my spy. Ah, I was hoping to get him into Venice, because I think it'd be pretty fun to fight with a full Austrian army coming in, so let's do it. Plus it also means, it means I achieve the aim I want to have achieved, which is to shut uh, the my allies out of Italy. Napoleon with an army of partisans and a full Austrian army led by Karl von Austrich Tetchen, Archduke Charles himself, with us. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. That's a great outcome. That way we can have an interesting battle and. We, well, we have an interesting battle with our allies, and we also achieve some quite interesting tactical objectives. So let's see where... Okay. So... I like my guns over here. Or do I like them over here? Maybe my 12s over here, and my 6s over here. So it means I want to make a, a regular front line section. Then maybe split my other wings into two groups to support the guns. I mean the one on the right's got a load of foot guards, so they're going to be in great shape. Back them up with cavalry. My centre is a bit weak because it's just there's a big component of it is militia, but at the very least they're going to be supported by my general and a howitzer. Advance into the woods, clear the wood line. I mean, I think they're probably going to be... Well, so someone's asked me this. Why, you know, how do I... How come I'm always... Well, how come my my in my battles the enemy always seems to be 
deploying normally and not in big clumps. Well, that doesn't always happen. My 12s are going to be useless over there. My howitzers, wherever they are, need to get over onto the left. My cavalry need to push up over here as well. Here come the Austrians. Oh god, they're sending Archduke Charles after... So I'm holding space bar and it's showing attack orders. Archduke Charles is going after Napoleon. My six pounders. You guys Glorious better barrage. Is soon to be yours. Yeah, I did kill my own guys there. To be honest, you guys might actually want to unlimber. Yeah, they don't know where to go. This massive block of partisans that's freaking out. Oh no, Archduke Charles. They're also sending in the 12th Light Horse, but the 3rd Regiment of Horse are right here. Don't do it. Don't do it, Archduke Charles. The madness of King Charles. We can't save him. <laughs> yeah, he's already done. Their general, sir. Now they must break. What? Do they get him? Oh, the 12th Light Horse got him. Good on him. If they want to take the heat off of my guys, then the more the merrier. Just draw my 12 somewhere to the rear area of my line. I'm not going to run. Where's my howitzer? Feldhabitzer. Pund Habitzer. Seven Pund. <laughs> Seven Pund. Oh no, that's not Archduke Charles, that was one of their other units. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's not... Never let it be said that the, that the, the Swedish are not going to help out. to the action keep my line pushing forward okay my cavalry should stop moving you guys are going to drop into square my cavalry is probably going to have to go the long way around There you go, the Austrian cavalry broke the enemy French flank. Now they're joined by the Swedish cavalry. Although there's too many... Too many cooks, so to speak. You may need to push up and make some darn headway. Unlimber the howitzer. Keep advancing my line into the cavalry blob. You men keep attacking. No, oh, no, don't don't keep attacking. That's what these guys are going to mop up. Send my light howitzers in, I guess. My light cavalry in. It looks like that's what this is going to turn into. Enemy cavalry on the flank. There we go. See us. One in the nineteenth chopped up. So square and square. 
his horse guards and the light horse are also going to come in. Fundamentally, there we go, now my actual infantry is starting to get involved in the action. Let's pull my cavalry back. I'm content with my infantry shooting Austrian cavalrymen, but not good Swedish stock. Charge my light cavalry into the Voltageur. I mean, to be honest, they are just going to knock him out anyway, so we may as well just push in. Could try and ban it, charge. But I think it's completely unnecessary. It's very nice of the Austrians to play such a pivotal role in the Swedish securing such an important uh, city. See, they have come back towards the rear. The men of the teams are a muscle Not yet, they aren't. Send my men forward up towards the rear, send my cavalry forward to try and knock out some of these troops. The Austrian army itself is deploying. I mean, look at that. That's pretty, pretty dire. So all of you men, cease fire. Everyone cease fire. You've rerouted the 18th to drive on and attack the 21st. The light horse is still at the back of the map. Cavalry, just pursue. Keep, um, start shattering units. I mean, look at that. <laughs> so this is why cavalry, I think, is so pivotal in this game. So why can I not? Oh no, that's their, okay, that's their cavalry. No wonder I couldn't control. I was there going, it's hovering, it's, ho it's showing up blue. Why can't I pick it? I'll send my light dragoons to pick off their regiment of horse. Creating a little bit of a guard of honour around particular units as we chase them away. Yeah, just kill them all. It looks like it's not going to be long for the light horse to break as well. Fighting, fighting off against a few cavalrymen near this church. Glenza Company. The men of the team must rest a while. Not doing anything useful though, are you, Grenza? Yeah, and your stupid balloon didn't help, did it, Napoleon? Even though there's no one in it. I do think it's quite cool though. <laughs> Go on, kill the light horse. There we go, experience is going up. Combat's so spread out in the city between our cavalry units, that's why it's going to take a bit of time. Because right now, we're only killing the odd cavalrymen until these Grenzes form up and do something. Which they're not, they're booking it. They could fire at the 15th Light Horse, but they're choosing not to. Form some troops up to shoot down to attack the Voltager. Although it looks like the Austrians are going to do that for me. Okay, let's speed up the, this battle now because fundamentally there isn't actually a huge amount going on. There you go, the 15th Light Horse have routed. These Voltager can't form square, but they're going to be charged down by the 4th Light Horse. Steady, and they're exhausted. So 
So we'll trot my my some of my heavy cavalry over there. Just to cause a bit of an extra threat, but I doubt they're gonna be ready in time. Yeah, they're wavering. So let's just let the natural order of things continue. Hurrah! Heroic victory for Mr. Skoldebrand. And now we have Venice, which is very important. We're going to loot it because we're not planning on moving from this fort for a while. Speaking of fort, we are going to build walls, although I'm fairly sure it's kind of useless, but... As in walls don't really do anything in this. But I'm still going to do it. And let's build a sloop to occupy the port. And now that means that we've created, or we're starting to create our front line. So Finn Pyle, can you guys leave Milan? No, you cannot. Let's build the steam-powered sawmill. That's one thing I do want to do. It's Mr. Bengston. Minus two. I believe we have one more turn. To be honest, I might move Mr. Bankston to Normandy, ready to attack Britain, because we're actually doing... We're going to be making some fairly good progress here. I mean, I don't really need to sit here and replenish with you guys, because you're actually in fairly good shape. We do want to knock out Spain, because Spain has a lot of tributaries and so on that could be frustrating. So let's give them another turn to replenish, and then we can push on. Renault, let's send a unit of Hussars forward. <laughs> yeah, we found their skirmishes, so we'll take the loss. Oh, the loss of our entire cavalry force. Very well. We will force another recruitment. Well, let's go and attack these Spaniards in the hills. Yeah, we're going to open up a northern route, a southern route. Well, a northern route and an eastern route. And once, we, once we're sieging Madrid, another army is going to be pushing south to try and uh, clear up Gibraltar. So let's create two brigades on either flank. I'm not anticipating artillery has a massive amount to do with this because they have a lot of artillery. They have a lot of artillery and not a lot of anything else, so just push up and take the guns. That's the name of the game. Now ah, they're all hidden. Push up and find out where they're at. That's the name of the game. That's what we're going to be doing today. Hello. Hello! It's got general staff to the rear. Okay, well my cavalry is going to be advancing towards those guns and that infantry, so let's speed up time. They still, they still have more, but they're probably going to be the 4th Regiment of Horse have deployed, and it looks like they're probably going to try and smash into my line, or zigzag towards my line. But fear not. Everyone except my foot Jaeger is able to, to put, employ defences. So I might actually withdraw the foot Jaeger. Let a couple of other units advance. Get my light horse towards the guns. Get my infantry to continue to advance up towards the enemy. There we go. I oh know, I do hope you aren't advancing towards my infantry, I was going to say. Let's 
So you men charge up and attack the guns. Three units of guns in one place. The heavy cavalry aren't going to spend a lot of time chasing down that enemy cavalry unit. Bring my light cavalry back. Gauge me with musket fire all you like. I've got plenty more of it than you do. Could probably now stand to put my 12s up on this high ground. Forgot all about my guns. Blending and I did think I wasn't going to need them at all. So, there we go. Well, I won't. I don't think I'll need them. It might just make things a bit speedier. The fourth horse guards are trying to counter charge. But too bad. Unfortunately, they're going to walk into my sphere leave guard. There they are. They're going to try and hit me in the rear. Counter charge with my heavies. My lights are unhappy about it, as you can imagine. If my lights are out, they're not going to be gone for long. Eh, you can charge my foot Jaeger if you like. <laughs> there we go. Cavalry defeated. I'm going to get my life got out of square. So now here comes their infantry. Second foot guards, the fourth foot guards, general staff, someone else who's just hidden. Quite an elite little detachment, this, but not enough to. Uh, not enough to destroy this army, no siree. You got caught out there, Sunny Jim. <laughs> Rat attack your drums as much as you like. It's not going to do anything to me. Push my cavalry up on the left. Now the horse guards are in, or back, or they're back, as is the general staff. I said, fortunately, on this left flank, it's my first grenadiers and my first foot guards, so. not going to necessarily be that healthy for them. I don't really want my light horse to be the one that charges the heavy cavalry, but at least they're backed up by my heavy cavalry. There we go, as the initial volleys are fired. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Okay, push back up. Get my heavies to charge the general staff. The third horse guards. The longer this continues, the more of my other flank gets brought to bear. You killed their general. Well, they must break. We killed one of them. They had three general staff. No, they didn't. They had two. My mistake. So the 33rd Regiment are giving up ground. Keep on pushing. They might even be with. Oh, they are, they are withdrawing. They're running. I did. I did wonder about the. Dun, 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 dun. I thought, no, that's it. They're off. They're booking it. They've had enough. Commit the cavalry. Third regiment of foot's formed square, but they're being engaged by my. 
they're being engaged by my infantry. Get Mr. Backstrom over here rapidly. Let's bring along the fourth horse guards. Our men are running. My lust, my light dragoons. I'm not worried about them. It's my heavy dragoons, heavy cavalry. That would be the the concern. But it would appear that we've managed to break both of these forces, which we will continue to engage. My 12s are in position up on the hill, they're not going to be here in time. There we go, those two units have been destroyed. No, they haven't. One of them has. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, my general's getting hit by a secondary fire. Oh god. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, my general's getting shot out from uh, this misses from the battle line. And there you go, that's the second foot guard shattered. So everyone's going to position ready for the 33rd to break. You fools. BMI, so I've recruited a spare cavalry unit to the join this army. And what we're going to see is uh, this army is going to campaign as usual and that cavalry unit is going to catch up to them. I'm not going to hold this unit back all that time. Hello, it's their general staff. Here come the Light Dragoons. Yeah, let's get my 12s unlimbered. Let's see if they can do anything. All of this infantry can advance. And there goes the volunteers. Now everyone's opening up on the general staff. They're going down. Yeah, let's not worry about the making sure we mop this army up. Chiefly because it takes forever. Nice. And that's what happens when you try and ambush us. God, 33 men remaining. Your ambushing force has been just obliterated and our army's in really good shape. You guys might want to charge us, in which case we'll just hold our ground here in the hills. Apart from that, we're probably going to want to end turn. No, you don't have any cavalry, although you might actually. Okay, let's give let's recruit the petty tyrant. But the petty tyrant, his job is going to be uh, recruiting refresh, uh, not refreshments, reserves. That's what he's going to do. So Mr. Zettisberg, you're nearly replenished. Let's recruit another sloop. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's hit enter then. It's another full army marching down into Europe. The French want peace, they're not going to get it. Yeah, the Austrians... See, this is the thing, is now they have no enemy to fight. So that's why I want to knock out Spain first, then knock out... Well, then declare war on Britain and see what happens. See if anyone joins them. Looks like there's massive rebellions around Dresden with a flag that can't be loaded in. But yeah, I want to take out Spain, take out Britain, and see what happens. If that, do if Britain doesn't go, if they don't, if the war against Britain doesn't cause us to, cause everything to collapse, then I'm going to gobble up Italy, or attempt to. Ah, the rebels are being pushed back, but at least it's keeping the Prussians on their toes. Mm, many, many, many troops. The Russians have got lots of army in the armies in the field. I 
I mean, I don't think they declare war on me. But if they're going to declare war on anyone, it's going to be us. Unless they're going to go after you know, Rome or Naples, which I don't think they would. Let's auto that. <laughs> See ya, sucker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. So Austria's... Wait. I thought that was... I thought... Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought that was... Who did... Wait a minute. I'm sure that was, said, oh, that was Austria and us. Distrust and, al distrust and all that. I thought it said King us and... It was us and... Uh, Austria, but we're still allies. Hmm. Either way, I think that's them firing their initial shots saying they don't like us. They don't like us and the fact that we're conquering Europe. Okay, you men might deploy against the Prussians rather than against Britain now because we, we might need to uh, fill in some gaps. So I've upgraded the market in Florence, upgraded the supply post, supply post in Schleswig. Should really move my agents up to Gothenburg. Many, many French agents there, but doesn't matter now. We've burnt all our books and now it's just a supply post. Finland's still recruiting. Good, there's another full army. So, de so de Detlof Langre. You might go, f might go here, to the front, <laughs> the front against Prussia. I mean, if we're at war with Austria, that's not a massive problem because they have to get through Russian territory to join us. I mean, Italy, you guys still won't be over us yet. General Tavidal, Walfried Jarl, Jarl. So you've got your cavalry being recruited. Let's go for Sa. Wait, is that guy? Those those extra cavalry I'm recruiting are coming from Finland. They're going to run all the way across Europe. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's give it a go. Whereas here, four cavalry plus two more artillery. That's six units, which means we'll have 18 left, which means we want two units of elite troops and then probably also want to to be honest we need to just keep bringing in new generals we're at the point where we need to, because we've only got one recruiting point okay no 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 don't go for that one because that means you they they will try and walk over here from finland we just want to fill up the last two slots here in stockholm You chaps keep recruiting a bit longer. Actually, you've got a howitzer being recruited in Finland. Oh, that'll perfect. That'll fit. Okay. So you're in quite good shape. You put Finland under siege. We will bring in a lot of reinforcements. But that's why I want to bring in you. Rune, because are you now in range? Rune is now in range, and we can fight this main battle. So just a second, guys. I'm going to quickly nip to the loo, and I'm back. And right, well, part of the reason why I'm quite want to get in, bring this battle or do this battle is there's a couple of units of. Actually, if I just continue the siege, I'll show you. So when we attack the city. We will draw in this force and this force and hopefully cause them to be destroyed on the campaign map. It might, I don't think it will bring in this one. It's going to bring in, there's somewhere that's got a, a bunch of uh, generals in it. Actually, the third horse guards, is that you? This uh, sixth light horse, look for the sixth light horse to see if they're hidden in there. 
12th. Hmm. Not quite sure where that, where the, the these commanders are coming from, but still. Blas Navarro and Alano Castro coming in to reinforce. Then we can just destroy them all together. And these are all skirmishes anyway, so they're not going to last too long. I'm in a, in a proper slugfest. But let's attack the capital of Spain. Let's make some real progress, because I think right now we're in... We're at risk of potentially not making as much progress as we would like. We need to take Madrid, push on, take Gibraltar, secure Lisbon, and make sure that we... Actually, I might bring my guns in the line. Well, that six-pounder horse artillery, that's actually quite flexible. Put them out here. So in terms of my line... You, 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 you. You're my front line. Three units on the left. Got a good foot unit and, a, my, and an elite guard on the right. My twelves can also be on this in this position. Just trying to get some firing in against the against the uh, Spanish I might even put the bulk of my cavalry over by my guns to make sure they have protection with a light cavalry unit on the right because none of these units are actually exposed as light infantry they're all capable of forming squares to defend themselves good a lot of Tirador there. Fold the cavalry in, try see if we can lure the regiment of horse in to fight us in square formation. Push our cavalry up to the trees. So these guys are all stacked up. There's a few units here. But looks like we're trying to do counter battery work. But we need to advance up. Yeah, there we go. Is that all? I wonder how many units are in there. Looks like four. Which could being honest be dealt with by just smashing a a bunch of heavy cavalry into them marching my men stoically towards the guns I'm sure they won't be a fan of but okay there we go the first volley from the skirmishes Bring my cavalry up. We're beginning our counter fire. Get the howitzers up to about here, then they can start to engage. Get my general onto this flank because my light infantry is not happy with what's going on. So let's get our lone unit of light cavalry over here to mop up some of these skirmishes and that means we could probably more effectively surround the main line the unit of Tirador is wavering but if they route they will like they will come back to make our infantry march stoically up to the line mop up some of these skirmishes. Their gunners are... well, some of their skirmishes are attacking my light cavalry. So let's pull my light cavalry back out onto the flank with the rest of the troops.
it looks like the enemy are going to allow themselves to be enveloped. I'm curious about where their reinforcements are going to come in from. Keep my guns nearby. the regiment, 3rd regiment of horse, Cavalier de Ligne. Let's keep you guys orientated to face off against them. Two horse guards versus one horse guard. We should be able to mop them up quite quickly. I might get my light infantry. I have exactly the amount of men able to take that house. The enemy have resisted the temptation to charge their cavalry at me. The enemy cavalry horse guards have been repelled. Doesn't mean they're gone for good. Let me show me how it says they're engaging center of mass. Oh, my vault. Uh. Come on. Apologies, I had a damn AVG pop up. Okay, so. The enemy general has been killed. Form a square, because it looks like he's coming in to try and attack our attack our force. It looks like the cavalry's gone mad all along the line. Keep advancing. You men drop into square as well. Let's get this light infantry into the house. Yeah, there's the horse guards back again. Let's push the light infantry up to support my skirmishers. I'm hoping the 29th regiment will mop up this unit of Tirador. Present. Fire! Oh, just... There goes the enemy again. Run my cavalry. Well, run my lights to attack these guys. You men continue. Why can't you get inside? Okay, looks like they don't want to get in there. Okay, so... Keep men advancing. Okay, that's where enemy reinforcements are coming in from, which is good to know. To be honest. Heavy cavalry have at it. Get in there and charge. See what damage you can do. Although I did see stakes, so withdraw. Withdraw. The light cavalry, on the other hand, could probably do with mopping up some of these skirmish units, which are taking up a disproportionate amount of effort. 
from my army to knock out. Most off the mine. I think it's worth doing though, because you just want to try and... Because right now there's a lot of troops here just focusing on two units. And there goes the mine. They might rout, but they routed as well. There we go, let's bring up the line. Get my lights back into relative safety. Okay, you men attack. Cavalry, send my cavalry in to knock them out too. And it looks like their centre is starting to fall. There's another reinforcement coming in. Run my light cavalry into the Tirador because they are only they are only just skirmishers. How it says actually just continue to drop in the centre. Actually, it always seems to be better just to keep keep kinking your line to maximise your fields of fire and then adjust them when it becomes necessary. You men withdraw. Are they charging? Or attempting to charge? I hate it when they do, <clears throat> when they do that. I want to just make them... You know what? Try to see them off with a bayonet charge. See them off you did. Let's get the 10th Regiment out here. The trouble is there's spikes in here. There. Yeah, which will confuse and interrupt my ability to get my cavalry involved there. Whereas these men, these gunners, should fall quite nicely. Another unit of skirmishers. Oh, it's the same unit of skirmishers, I see. I need to push in this sector and clear it with infantry. You men mop up the Tirador, the skirmishes. Now I need to keep them back. For now at least. So we can break the eight light foot. Who look like they're putting up a sterling effort. There we go. That's another unit of skirmishes knocked out. Glorious victory! On, sir. So start the barrage. I mean, these guys should start to be losing. You know what? This is a waste of time. You men get in there and clear out the guns. Might be militia, but militia's capable enough to attack gunners. General staff all the way to the rear. There we go, that's the gunners dealt with. Oh, 
Let me try to get my light infantry into that house there, actually. To be honest, Bjornborg, charge! Regiment of foot, charge! The enemy's morale is particularly weak. I'll keep my general nearby, because things can go wrong with bayonet charges. Lycia Provincia. Bring my militia up. There we go. Let's form a more ordinary battle line while we push up into this area and clear it. And then you chaps push through the town around the other side of the house. These units form up as a reserve and get some well needed rest. My cavalry can get over onto this flank. So can all my guns. We have taken the building, sir. Howitzers need to limber up. The gunners are coming back, trying to get to their <clears throat> trying to get to their guns, but that's not gonna happen. They're gonna bump into my lines and they're gonna be repelled at bayonet point. Back you go. There we go. Now these guys are properly taking the building. Hussar chase down the general staff. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Damn right they must. They've still got troops coming in, so they've got a unit coming in back here and a unit coming all the way over on the other flank. Okay, so maybe keeping some cavalry here is acceptable. My lifeguards. No, that's going to hit the stakes. Push them around the flank. More cavalry coming in. Go on, militia. Soon you'll be ready to open up because these guys look like they can't resist it. Hello, light horse. Let's do something like this. Do something like this to secure that front. Get some cavalry o infantry over here to support against that army, that reinforcing army when it comes in. Get my light cavalry. Oh no, hold on, which cavalry was this? Wrong cavalry. You guys go get the general staff. Eh, no, let's keep you guys more like. Defensively, defensively placed, such that you won't get shot in the back. We have killed their generals, sir. Now they must break. Killed their generals. Just killed their general. I mean, those third light horse routed very quickly. Trot my cavalry towards their horse guards. It's uh, more into the safety of here. Continuing to gauge the enemy at range. OK, 
Okay, where's my general? Get him over here for this combat. Because my light dragoons are not going to stick around for very long. And I'm going to need my general to provide the morale boost I need. No, General, don't don't get into the fight. Just stay just stay stay tactically nearby. They're going down. They're going down hard. Man, that's a lot of cavalry cavalrymen down. And there's the grenadier regiment in the distance. They've been shattered. So we're still engaging the enemy. Are those gunners. If they really want to kill this house. They're going to roll their guns right up to the front door. Form square. The horse guards are gonna bash up into our defences and back they go. You guys unlimber and start to open up against the regiment of horse. There's a couple of units coming in. Grenadiers, more Grenadiers, the 1st and 2nd Regiments. The gunners are going to retreat with their guns, damn it. Fire some shots against the 12th. They're not going to last very long though, so we're just going to drop our guys into square and away they go. These guys, I'm hoping they can just get some good... Um, Punishment done. <laughs> they shot my men in the back. No. Get back. More infantry coming in. Infantry de linea. Drop into square, but they're not going to need it. Okay, get out of that building. Because it looks like they're starting to... Yeah, the 5th Regiment starting to try and do some bad things. They get the cavalry. Their infantry is perpetually upset. I don't know how you guys didn't die on the spikes, but I'll take it. We want to get some... Okay, what I might try and do is get my... My 12s into the line. We've still got these grenadiers, but that's okay. Ah, oh, both my cavalry units are fresh. Good. Bring my general back into the centre. And we will start to engage the enemy out of range once more. Get my cavalry out wide. Horse guards are guarding their guns. It's unlimber.
fundamentally, as these if these guys get into the town, we can isolate and destroy them how we would like. Actually, I might even pull these guys back. Draw out where precisely it is they would like to be. Barrage with canister shot. Okay, so use round shot then, because right now we're wasting. Oh, smack! Straight into their line. Slam the, the horse guards forward into the light foot. They're running, so they're going to be very tired. Switch to canister shot, engage the grenadiers. Ooh, hit just to the right of their line. Slap bang in the centre. Halt fire. Advance! Where are their guns then? Now their guns are redeployed. I'm sure those cavalrymen are done for now. Yeah, you guys pivot and blast the 8th Grenadier Regiment at close range. Killed a couple at the back. Yeah, it's a couple more than they previously had. Still trying to work out where these grenadiers are going to go. But I'm content because they're very tired. Which means that I'll make it easier to route them. How it's are on limber. Just take three of you guys forward like so. First foot guards, eh? How it's it can, get, can open up against them? Yeah, the light foot are not keen on what's going on. My horse guards are going to take out the 10th Regiment of Foot. My lights are coming up on the flank. Oh, what a volley. Charge into the rear there just to make the route. So now I can take my line as a whole again and push up. Okay, you guys are a bit surplus to requirements. I think it looks like the Grenadiers are determined to go attack my infantry or attack my cavalry. So in that case, let them. You men want to pivot. Not like that, more like that. You men push up to fix them, fire will arm. Watch out, they form square. There's even more coming in from back here. The light foot. Go get him, cavalry. Get 
Get my general up to the front, because obviously it's now moved. Get my cavalry in against the regiment of foot. That means I can pivot you guys against their remaining actual line. So you men smash into the 22nd. Yeah, well, there they go. There go the Grenadiers. Just pursue them and harass them. Get these men in against the gunners in the town. Ultimately, I think the Spanish force here is just done. To so drive my cavalry on to the 18th, it might cause the 8th light horse to rout. As my flanks continue the advance. Can't make it through the mess of men. There we go. So now the Italian, f the Spanish flank, sorry, the Italian flank, the Spanish right flank has folded. Form my line up like so. I'm hoping I can kill enough of them that the uh, they shatter and don't come back. Although, to be honest, if they, do, if they do come back, it doesn't really matter because I've got that, these two infantry here. Yeah, more more, ex more gongs the being handed out. Must rest a while. Is that my cavalry that needs to rest? Probably. You had, you had orders to... You, did you just run through the, the city without hitting any of, without attacking any of the guns? To be honest, they might be better off just fa keep forming a line against the enemy there. More cavalry coming into the rear, which is great. So mass my cavalry. March this cavalry towards the light foot. Take this infantry here. That's probably not needed against them. So your light foot. They're grenadiers. You don't want to charge them with you. Bring the cavalry over though. Cazador de Caballo. Yeah, you're gonna. You, oh, I hope you don't knock out my guns. Go on, be on board to the front. Light infantry to the rear. Use that back there. Infantry to Linea. Get my general over here. Who's that back there? The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest. Okay, so the hope is that my Light infantry and the Bjornborg can do enough damage to this grenadier unit. The gunners have abandoned their guns to the rear. My light dragoons are routed, that's fair enough. Those men might be able to break my uh, light infantry, and if they do, that will cause problems for this engagement here. Well, they, they, no, their gunners have lost, lost uh, their morale much quicker than my guys have. So 
who are you guys? 20th Regiment of Foot. Warm up. Go on, Bjornborg, just hold. Hold and let the light infantry to the rear do their, de their deadly work. Or oh, even better, try and route through my Bjornborg, that'd be great, although it looks like. Run to cut them off. We'll just charge into them, actually. Light infantry cease fire. Huzzah! The light foot have come back, as of my dragoons. Form up. Advance. go, so my horse guards attack the light foot. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. These men advance out of the town onto the flank here. Go on, you men. Recover! You've got a tiny little infantry unit to take out. You guys cease fire. Get them in to fight the enemy there, because otherwise they're not going to be able to do it. Okay, right, so. Keep pushing. I need to keep my general close. Like, look, he's fresh and walking at the same speed as these guys are charging. Fortunately, their morale is going down pretty darn quick. Root and toot, yeah. Yeah, there's a good idea that are routing, not new troops coming in that they have to fight. Good, to continue the, the surround. These units are the last units on the field, the 1st Foot Guards and the 11th Regiment of Foot. And then my men make ready and engage. Our men are running, sir. Oh, you tried to walk over the thing and you... Eh, yeah, makes sense. The more dangerous thing is if they try and walk back over it, will they die? Look, they can go that way, but not the other way. These guys are all going to rout, thankfully. They're all broken and exhausted. I should have left this episode to the next... Le left this battle to the next episode, really. <laughs> to be honest, let's actually push you up a little bit more. The line infantry will do a devastating volley into the 11th Regiment of Line. There we go. Just to break them. They're so good. Now they're just falling down. Oh, this another unit came back. Drop my cavalry over here. Or drop my cavalry. Walk my cavalry over here. 
There goes the elite. Now let's speed up time a little bit to engage the last regiment of foot. I mean, you're just militia. You're in Delta. You shouldn't have worse worse uh, morale than my militia. Although you are in position first, my militia will do it. Quite a what a large volley actually, because I think the front four ranks can fire. Just the front three. Yeah, some of the third can shoot. Bring in the horse guards, although they are still e exhausted. These men will have very much deserved their... Uh, hey, my artillery didn't rout. Hurrah. Stay where you are, though. There we go. There goes the 18th. Finally. Yeesh. Ah. Oh. There we go, finally! <laughs> Madrid was secured. Madrid was secured. Let's hope, hope we've caused a significant defeat for most enemy forces in the field. We're going to peacefully occupy. We seek no war. You men could be frustrating, but you can't take any... Well, you might be able to take some towns. So let's take Niles here. Push him towards the uh, Spanish front. But again, Madrid is secured. I'm probably going to want to take this force and advance against the Spanish to the north. Although they have withdrawn. Very well. Apart from that, let's done everything else. Oh, we've got Salamanca now, but let's destroy that. Let's hit enter. And let's see what happens if anything anything else happens about that diplomacy message that was odd. I'm pretty sure it means that we're still our allies, but they don't like us. I'm thinking, you know, I understand that, Austria, because we do own pretty much all of Europe. and We are the largest faction in the world, and we're human-controlled, so I can understand you not liking us. Luca's continuing with his expeditionary force. I mean, Venice is looking a pre pretty vulnerable if they decide to attack us because uh, that's like three armies. Maybe they are going to declare war on Rome. If they do, I will not sanction that war with Swedish blood. The enemy are massing or combining their forces together, which is good for us. It means that Mr. Backstrom can continue to engage these forces. We've sabotaged the university. Well, I'll tell you what, I sabotaged it worse. So Rune Amkus push down towards Gibraltar. You men continue to regroup. We are going to attack that remaining force. You guys are going to push up to the, the gap in the trees here. You are going to continue to push down towards the Schwerin front. We've got a new general, Florida Johansson. Some new stuff has been built. But to be honest, let's see if I can get you aboard ship. What have you, I don't know what you've got. Militia, 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 militia. Guard National, Jean Lan, Napoleon. They're going to sally and attack us, so we will hold the port. Are you recruiting another? You are recruiting another. So we've got our spy. Let's go spy in to Portugal, because Portugal will need a couple of actions to thin them out somewhat. Let's take, make Mr. Renault Backstrom and attack Thomas de Ayala. And attack this force here. But, looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Sweden. Cheers, everyone.